Okay, my beautiful people, let's talk about a couple of things and then you can share your artwork with us. So first things first, a couple of people reached out to me and asked um, if they could have just a little bit more time. If you are one of those people and you needed just a little bit more time, this is what you need to do, okay? If you are not quite finished with your art and you're not ready to show it today, when you are finished, hopefully very soon, please take a picture of your art and email it to me, okay? Um, oh my goodness gracious. I have been busy trying to get your grades updated into ManageBack because quarter one grades are due like tomorrow, I think. Um, and a, a few people I think are still missing some stuff. So let's take a look, see here. <clears throat> um, Pace, did you ever send me your facial expression thing? Also Rosie, I'm missing yours. Maria and Quinn. So remember a while back, we took pictures of our face and different expressions. And um, I don't seem to have an updated grade for those, for the, the three of you. I Pace, didn't have a camera before. Say that again. I didn't have a camera back then. Oh, do you, you have one now? Uh -huh. Okay, so you can still do that and just send it to me in an email, okay? Yay, because I just, you know, if I can get anything from first quarter turned in, then that's even better. And same with Rosie, Maria, and Quinn. Um, if you guys can take pictures of your face, making different facial expressions like this, then uh, that would be fantastic, okay? Everybody, everything else actually, this class, by the way, good job, isn't missing anything else. Good job. So hopefully you will also be able to finish your summative piece of art. Poor Aiden is just having a terrible time. <clears throat> Getting in here. Aiden. Is it working now, Aiden? Are you in? I know you're having trouble. So sorry. Okay, hopefully Aiden is in. All right, so today we are going to show our summative pieces of art. I know it's because his computer is doing something weird. There he goes, he has one. <clears throat> okay. So um, in a minute, I will ask for volunteers of who wants to share their um, poster with us first. Then when it's your turn to share, um, you'll want to hold up your poster to your screen so that we can see it. And then I'm gonna ask you to tell us at, le at least three things. Number one, um, tell us you know, what your quote says in case we can't read it. Um, number two, uh, tell us the elements of art that you, you that you chose to use in your piece of artwork. And then, yeah, Rosie, that's fine. Um, no, it's my train of thought. So tell us basically what is your poster, read the quote, um, what elements of art, and then what was your like intended mood to the audience? What did you want the audience to get out of it? And I'm gonna type that in the chat as well, so. When it is your turn to share, you show your poster and tell us about it. Of art you used and tell us your intended meaning. Oh, Miss Cortez, I just want to like remove my head like Jack Skellington and get a new head that's not stuffed up. <laughs> okay. So <clears throat> if you would like to uh, volunteer to share your poster, just quickly raise your hand and I'll make a list here in the chat. So 
Rain, Ellen Eden, Ellen Elise, Ellen Kennedy. Who else wants to share? Sophia. Who wants to show share after Sophia? I got Rain, Eden, Elise, Kennedy, Sophia so far. Who wants to go after that? Gabby will go after that. Okay, um, and then Izzy. All right, we'll go to that point and then, um, and then, oh, and then Gus. Yes. Okay, sweet. All right, Rain, take it away. It's, it's all you. Um, this is my poster. And um, so the quote is, the two most important days in your life is the day you were born and the day you find out why. The elements I, of art I included is color, shape, value, and line. Awesome. And the, uh, well, there's a light bulb above, above her head because uh, if you look down here, there's a bunch of people of all different colors and she's speaking out to them. So she now knows why she was born. That's awesome. What was your intended meaning or emotion when you were coming up with this piece of art, Rain? Uh, um, I really liked it because it, it was all different people coming together as one. And that's something I don't really do. And just like, it was more simple than most of the artwork I do. Uh -huh. That's awesome. Great job, Rain. Awesome. Okay. Eden's going to be next. Oh, okay. Um, this is my piece of art. And it, the quote says, um, try to be a rainbow in someone's cloud. And the elements of art I used were color, line, like texture, and shape. And um, I just wanted the art piece to be really colorful and feel really like happy. And because the quote means like, be try to be nice to everyone. So it's like spreading kindness to everyone with this rainbow here, so. I love that. I like also you kind of made it a little abstract with the rainbow going in different directions and that created like the frame around it. That was really cool too. I'm just typing the elements of art into the chat. Um, I'm missing one. One, two, six, texture. There we go. Just in case anybody did not remember. Okay, Elise is up next. Um. So this is my poster. It says. Wait, wait, wait. Hold it up a little longer. The best view comes after the hardest climb. The elements of art I used are color line what does value mean value is like the shading from light to dark so how you did in the red and the orange and the yellow there that's like value okay. value line shape and texture and i want it to, to mean like so i like hike and like backpack a lot and so i know that like when you're trying to like get something it's like oh the great view as soon as you get it but it can also be like when you're not hiking, like if something is really hard, it's gonna be worth it in the end. Uh huh. And that's all. Awesome. I like how you used different fonts. How did you do those so like nicely? Like. Um, I looked up fonts on a computer. So that's I looked... awesome. I like how you use different ones and they kind of communicated different things. That was really awesome. Nice job. Okay, let's see. We're gonna go to Kennedy. Kennedy is up next. Um, 
this is this is my poster. Awesome. So I didn't get a chance to do the words because I couldn't find the fine line sharpie. But in the moon, it's supposed to say, um, "Shoot for the moon, and if you and if you miss, you land somewhere among the stars." Uh -huh. And then in the rainbow, it's supposed to say, um, "If the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain." Nice. You kind of combine two ideas. I look forward to seeing it when it's totally finished, but it looks great so far. Thank you. Um, the elements of art I used are color, value, line, shape, and for some reason my mind is going blank right now. So I, I don't know. Um, okay. And then the emotion I kind of like had when I was thinking of this is I wanted it to be kind of like, I have two quotes that I really love. It's those two. And I just thought I wanted to use them both. So I thought I might as well use them just like in some way that would tell people, go for what you want. And even if there's a hard time, push through and eventually you'll get, you'll get to the, to whatever you were going for. And you're like, that is awesome. Great job, Kennedy. Thank you. Okay. Next up is Sophia. So this is my poster. Uh, it says, happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light. Hold it up one more time. And the elements of art, um, I think, line, color, value, and texture. Awesome. Hold it up one more time for me, Sophia. I just want to see it one more time. Oh, I, I really like how you created the um, color and the um, light around the light bulb. <laughs> and the different layers that you created. That was really, really cool. That's good job. Thank you. These are so good. You guys are awesome. This makes my heart happy. Poor Aiden is still having the hardest time with his network today. Okay, next up is Gabby. Um, so for a day. Um, the elements of art I use is color, value, line, shape, and texture. Awesome. I like also how, hold it up one more time, Gabby. Um, I also like how you have different fonts for the different words. <laughs> Don't be negative, be positive. What does the rest of the quote say? But be positive for a day. Nice. Very, very cute. I like the bright colors too. That's really like energetic. Awesome. Okay. Next up is Izzy. Okay. Hey, this is mine. If you didn't know, I like to dance. So I drew a little dancer. I didn't do hair on her because the hair would have looked weird. Did but you use a stencil and paint it? Yes, I did. That looks cool. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it tore apart the paper. Oh, no. Uh, my tape, tape did not like it. Ugh, I hate that. But my quote says, dance is to express, not impress. And then the elements of art I used are color, line, shape, and texture. Very cool. I would also say you used space because you have this very distinct element um, using positive space, and then you have all that negative space around it as well. Nice job. Good job. Awesome. 
What kind of emotion were you trying to express when you? I was trying to express that um, you don't have to do exactly what you they like. You can do what you want to do, so to express yourself, not always others. You're not even paying attention to me. I'm sorry, Izzy. Can you repeat that last part? Yes. To express yourself, not others. And not others, yeah. So, like, it's not about other people. It's about you, right? <clears throat> yeah, awesome. Cool. Okay, Gus is up next. <clears throat> and then who wants to go after Gus? Taylor can go after Gus. Okay, so we'll do Taylor. And then... Elizabeth, and then Macy, and then Levi. Sweet. Okay. Oops, Taylor, I forgot the R on yours. All right, Gus, are you there? Are you ready to share? <clears throat> There's Gus. All right, show us what you got. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, I can get this closer. Okay, is that good? <laughs> so, I I didn't do mine that big. <laughs> it's just this tiny little one down here. Oh, it's uh, Winnie the Pooh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, perfect. Uh, wait, let me flip my camera around. No, 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 it actually, it shows up great on our side. It just looks backwards to you. Okay. So, you're good. You can leave it exactly like that. Yes, perfect. Yes. Backwards, but it's not. It, it shows up perfectly for us. Okay. Okay, what does it say? See yourself. As you are. As you are. Aw. That's cute, Gus. What elements of art did you use? Uh, I think I used uh, line, shape, space, and texture. Because I have a bunch of negative space and positive space. Awesome. If you get the chance to um, do a final draft bigger, filling up the whole page, that would be awesome. Okay. okay Give that. that a try. But that was really, really nice, Gus. Awesome. All right. Taylor. Um, so my quote um, was nothing can dim the light that shines within. And I used line, color, shape, um, texture, and then value. Hold it up again. Yeah. Okay, tell us what emotion or... Um, meaning you wanted to express? Um, kind of like be yourself. And if someone like tells you you can't, then so just like continue doing it. Awesome. That looks great, Taylor. I like how you um, created the shadow from the candle as well. That really made that element of your art pop out. Okay, let's see, Elizabeth is next. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so my, I did it digitally, but my quote was light up the sky. And uh, the elements of art I used was color, value, and line. And when I was making it, I was kind of like aiming for um, kind of like light your life up. Don't let it be all sad. Nice. Awesome. I like the bright stars that you had as well. Okay, Macy is next. Okay, so here's mine. Um, my quote is, life is the greatest journey you will ever be on. Here it is. And then I use texture, color, shape, line, and value. And uh, I tried to express like just a calm feeling. 
Why did you choose to do the bottom all in a dark shade? So that's supposed to be kind of like, you can't really see, but it's like um, on the camera, but it, it's like kind of going to the side and it's supposed to be like a field. Ah, okay, cool. Very cool. Nice. I really like how you created the texture in the red and the yellow around the sun as well. That's really cool. Great job, Macy. Oh, I'm gonna my nose. Not up next, right? Levi's up next. Yep, you're it. Um, can you see that? Yes. Okay, All right. Um, Perfect. So uh, my quote says, you miss all the shots you don't take thing about basketball because um, I was trying to express like um, live your life to the fullest and like take all the shots you can. Yeah. Uh, the values or not values, but um, the elements of what I used were color, line, shape, and texture. Because you probably can't see it, but I like swirled some of the lines um, with the colors. Yeah, I can. I was actually going to point that out. I liked how you put the color it, like kind of behind it, and then you made the word you pop out and stand out like that. Really cool. Thank you. Great job, Levi. All right. Who wants to share next? Brooke, take it away. Um, I have a picture of it, so I'm just going to pull it up as my background because my Awesome. That's a cool idea. Yeah, so this is my piece of artwork. It says choose to shine. Um, and the elements of art that I did was line, color, shape, and then I use watercolor, so there's like a cool texture on it. Um, and the meaning kind of behind this was like, when I think of like shining, I think of like yellow and I love sunflowers and I always think sunflowers are super positive. Um, and I think that you kind of do have to choose to shine. Like you have, like you, you everyone has the ability to, you just have to choose to want to. So I thought that this was a really cool quote and that's why I chose it. Nice job. I also like the border. That really makes it kind of pop and stand out as well. Great job. You guys are doing amazing. Okay, who wants to share next? Okay, so that means um, Pace, Aiden, Rosie, Lexi, who's not here, Maria, Hayden, Urban, Julian, Quinn, and Brooklyn. You all need to um, take a picture of your piece of art and send it to me in an email as soon as possible. Uh, Kennedy, that's totally fine if you need to go to your appointment early. Okay. Let's talk about the second thing that we're um, going to talk about, and then maybe a few other people will share by the end of class. So, oh my gosh, great job on your artwork. Everybody just demonstrated excellent skills, and I'm so, so proud of you. You should be very proud of yourself as well. So the second thing that we're going to talk about today is your artist statement, your artist statement. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And we're going to go to our class, Google Class. And we're going to take a look at our tasks here. So this was just your task for your actual piece of art. You don't have to turn anything in here unless you haven't shown me your piece of artwork. Um, if, if you uh, didn't share it just now. The second part of your summative is an artist statement. And an artist statement is a written summary of your artwork, um, talking about it in detail, okay? And there are four parts to an artist statement. So this can be written in the form of a paragraph or um, I have a little template for you to use as well to help you. 
So the first part of an artist statement is just to describe what the audience is seeing. So I'm gonna also share with you my piece of artwork. Um, let me pull it up here, I have a picture. And then I will, uh, and then I'll use that to um, uh, explain the artist statement uh, with my runny nose. <clears throat> okay. There we go. Just thinking about, just thinking about it. There it comes. There. This one right here. And okay. Now I should be able to share my screen with you. Okay. There we go. All right, can you guys see both of those? Here's my artwork on the right and artist statement on the left. So here's my piece of art and the quote says, the moon doesn't steal the night, it only unveils the beauty of the dark. And I have a moon and a little flower. And so we're gonna walk through this artist statement. <clears throat> it's gonna be very, very similar to what you already did as you were talking about your piece of art out loud as you were sharing it with us. So the first start, the first step is to just describe it. So here's my piece of art and you can see that I have a moon surrounded by a quote. I am using purple and blue and I also have this flower in the corner. So the first part, the described step is really easy. It's really straightforward, okay? Step number two, explain the emotions, meanings and messages that your artwork communicates. And you can see on this little um, uh, sheet that I have provided for you, I have little bubbles to give you an idea of what you can say. So first off, the theme of my piece of art is all about beauty, but specifically I wanted to communicate um, how we can find beauty in lots of things, even if life is hard or even if we feel like we're in a dark place. Um, we can still find beauty and goodness there. And so some of the emotions that I wanted to communicate have to do with um, uh, inspiring people and motivating them and giving encouragement through hard times and um, helping people kind of reframe or see things from a different perspective. So then step number three is connect and explain your artistic choices with your intended meaning. So now I'm going to talk about how do these elements communicate those meanings. So first off, the quote is really powerful. The moon doesn't steal the night. It only unveils the beauty of the dark. So that really implies to the audience that even in the dark, you know, we might think of the moon as kind of taking over, but it actually doesn't take over. And it actually just highlights things that we might not otherwise see. And it helps us see the beauty in those things. And so I decided to create this moon um, using marker and watercolor. And I wanted to emphasize the, the moon to really symbolize that idea of darkness and night and um, kind of bringing the quote together. And then I also have this flower and this flower is from one of my favorite books. And in this book, it's a, it's an imaginary flower. It only blooms at night, but it's like this really beautiful, like rare flower that people try to find. And so um, I wanted to add that as a component. Now, people who are not familiar with the book aren't going to maybe make that connection with the flower. They're just gonna maybe see this pretty flower. So I decided to do it in also a dark purple to just, Kind of bring all the themes together um, with my emotion. So then the last part is just describe and explain the elements of art that I use. <clears throat> so the first element of art that I used was shape. I created this moon shape to be the focal point of my piece of art and I also created this flower shape. So I have shape. I also used texture. That's the next big thing that you'll see to create the um, look of the moon to make it look more realistic. I also used color in the moon, the flower, and the words. <clears throat> and I wanted to um, make this word pop, and so I did it in a slightly different color. 
And then I also used value in my color here as I went from darker areas to lighter areas to create the highlights of the moon. So those were four of the elements of art that I used. And for you guys, remember, you only have to have four out of the seven. Um, I could also talk about space because I have positive space here and negative space. Um, I suppose I could talk about line as well. Um, I didn't, I, I guess maybe I would have a little bit of an element of line here in the stem of the flower. Line's not that um, strong in mine. And I don't have any forms really because I didn't really make anything look three dimensional. Um, so I didn't really use form um, very much in this particular piece of art. So you guys have this poster in Google Classroom. You also have a blank template. Um, and if for some reason your template has weird letters like this, I apologize. I was demonstrating this in first hour. And sometimes when I do that, the, um, the letters say, I don't know why. So if that's the case, I'm sorry. This is the place for you to put your name and then you can fill out each of these um, four. If you feel like you don't wanna use this template, you can just do it on a blank document and submit it into Google Docs. This artist statement is due by, I think I set it up to be due by Sunday, I think. Um, so you have the rest of the week. Sorry, uh, sorry say that again. It's due on Friday. Oh, it's due on Friday, thank you. That is correct, that's right, because I want to get this in for your grade, that's true. The sooner you can get it in, the better, so that I can get your artist statement um, added into your um, summative grade. So that's due on Friday. So if you did not have a chance to present your artwork today, um, please send it to me, send me a picture of it in an email um, before Friday so that I can get it included in your quarter one grades. Otherwise, your grade might not be a true reflection of your work um, because you would only just have like a couple of formatives. Um, is there anybody else that wants to share their artwork before we wrap up today? Aiden, take it away. You've been having all kinds of challenges with your connection. So go ahead and share your piece of art. Oh no, I hope it didn't give us, okay, there, yay. Okay, here we go. Awesome, okay, tell us all about it. Um, I used some texture with this paint. I just kind of dripped it on instead of wetting it. And I did some shading, light to dark in the middle right here, overlapping. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So what elements of art did you use? Texture, line, shape. And color. Yeah, and color. Yeah. What kind of emotion or mood um, or meaning were you trying to communicate? Um, to be bold. Nice. I like that. Mm -hmm. Excellent job, Aiden. Okay, is there anybody else that wants to share before we go today? Okay, then the last few minutes of class is yours then to um, finish working or excuse me to yes for the some of you need to finish your piece of art and send it to me. Um, and then for the rest of you to start working on your artist statement. Um, please remember that tomorrow you need to go to your um, regular 1A class and we have the map testing. After the map test is finished, you will not have any regular classes. So you should have some extra time to get your artwork done and your artist statement done. Brooke has a quick question. Um, on the artist statement, it says like, it has like the blue lettering. Do you want us to just keep that and just do it underneath? Oh, it doesn't matter. I just copied it really fast because some people were, I was going to just give you guys the template, like the little poster thing, but then some people were like, oh, can you give us something that we can write on? And so I just copied it really fast and took the examples away so that you would have space to write. So yeah, you can do it however you want. Any other questions? Good question. Thanks for that, Brooke. Awesome. 
Okay, please email me if you have questions. Please email me if, um, if you did not share your poster today. Um, and those of you that did share your poster, if you wanna send me um, a copy of your um, uh, poster, I just like to have those as examples to future classes. So feel free to um, email that to me. Have a great day and I won't see you guys until next week, unless you have advisory with me. So I will miss you, but um, yeah, enjoy taking the map test. Remember, it's not a test of your knowledge. It's not a reflection on you. It's a picture for our whole grade, okay? So don't fret about it. It's gonna be easy peasy. All right. Bye everyone. Au revoir. Zetian. Sayonara. Ciao. Annyeong. Namaste. Bye.